Okay, so, so what I'm gonna do is show you how to integrate Slack with Zabbix. So that when a Zabbix alert is triggered, you get a Slack notification. For example, this is my iPhone behind me and I get a whole bunch of alerts whenever a trigger, a Zabbix trigger is triggered. Okay, so this is how it's done. You need to have a Slack account, which I've got here. Sean was here. You need to go to apps down here. We need to create an app first. So we're going to browse, view, manage apps. And I'm going to just go to the bottom and press API. I'm going to press your apps, which is top right there. And I'm going to press this create an app button. And I'm going to call my app. Sean was here. Zabbix alert. Okay, and it's going to go into my Sean was here account. Okay, I agree. I'm going to use incoming webhooks, that one here. Okay, so activate the incoming webhooks. Okay, it's on URL. Okay, so it gives me a uh, an example curl request. It's not complete yet. We go down here, add new webhook to workspace. Yes. Authorize, and I'm gonna chuck it on Sean Wazir YouTube, Slack channel, or I can just put on my user profile. I'm just gonna put on my channel there. Authorize. Okay, so we scroll down to the bottom and what we get is an example command here that will send hello world to my Slack channel. So we'll copy that. Okay, so if I go onto my SSH now on my server, Zabbix server, and I try that command, so I just pasted it now. It's gonna send hello world to my channel. Excellent. So let's see that and let's close that window and there it is it's hello world and i've also got an alert just in my mobile phone just then as well because i have slack installed on my mobile phone righty -o. so and just to show what else we can do we can now modify that message slightly i'm just going to write a b c d and then let's go back to slack and we can see a b c d at the bottom so that hook is working now to call that hook when a trigger happens. So let's go into Zabbix. First thing I need to do is create a new media type. And I'm going to call it, create media type, and I'm going to call it Slack. There we go. It's a type of script. And the script name will be called, will be Slack, Slack alert dot sh. So Slack alert dot sh you can call it anything you like and i'm going to add a parameter to it and it's going to call call it alert dot subject there we go so let's just uh add that it's enabled okay so let's go and look at it again slack script slack alert sh okay so it's now time to create this file slack alert dot sh so i'm on my server again so i'm going to cd to the folder where it looks for those files so user lib zabbix alert scripts ls okay there's nothing in there so let's create a file called sudo nano and what did i call it slack alert.sh slack alert.sh Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is copy this line. And then I'm going to go back to the API page. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to just put that into the file as well. There it is there. Actually, I'm just going to maximize. You can see it. And I'm just going to change this text to being something like Sean was here. Like so. Okay, so let's just control X, save that. Yes, slash. Okay. 
Next thing we do, need to do is give that execute permissions. So ch mod a plus x slack alert dot sh ls. Here we go. That's now executable. Let's give that a try. Slack alert dot sh. Enter. So we go. I just got an alert on uh, my um, phone just then. And if we look at Slack, there it is. Sean was here down the bottom there. So what we also wanted to do was pass in the alert subject. So I'm going to show you how I can access that property in the in the new script. Go back into Nano. Okay, so instead of actually writing the hard coded test text here, I'm going to do this. Dollar one, that, that. There we go. So that now if i control x yes save let's just try that again calling that and this time i'll just put in some value like that a b c d there we go that's okay should get an alert in a sec there we go that's the alert on slack and if i look at slack online there we go abcd now to call that from a trigger on zabbix okay so the next thing we go into users and we go to admin or the user we want to get that media and we'll add that so let's add slack and the name can be anything you like my script ignores this field doesn't really matter and we're going to get alerts on all highs and disasters sent to slack okay so let's just update that check that it's there it is let's go and create a trigger now so let's go to configuration templates and i'm going to use uh, the zabbix agent one of the zabbix agents triggers i'm going to copy this one unreasonable for five minutes let's open that i'm going to clone that and I'll go unreachable for 10 seconds. That should trigger all the time. I'm going to make it high so I actually get an alert. And I'm going to change this little thing down here to be 10S. Let's just add that. Okay, so this should trigger quite often, hopefully. Let's go to monitoring and go to problems. And uh, let's uh, have a look what's going to Okay, so we've got an alert now. Zabbix agent on desktop, unreachable for 10 seconds. I just detected my phone was giving me some more alerts. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at that on the Slack. And here we go. I'm getting a whole bunch of Slack alerts because 10 seconds is quite, quite, uh, but no, that gets triggered quite a lot. So this is a whole bunch of Slack alerts coming in now. So let's just show you what happens on my phone. Okay, so if I open up Slack here, I can see that I'm just getting loads of coming straight to my phone. And if my if I just put my phone down for a little while on the table, that will actually make a dinging noise. So yeah, so I can tell pretty much straight away when something's broken now. So that's that's it. That's uh, integrating Slack, Slack hooks or Slack alerts with Zabbix triggers. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and share.